Chào mừng quý vị quay trở lại với phần tiếp theo của chương trình Tôi và Việt Nam trên kênh truyền hình FBNC với phần trò chuyện cùng ông David Utama là chủ tịch và là giám đốc điều hành của GE Healthcare khu vực Đông Nam Á. Welcome back. Thank you. Trong năm 2012, y tế vẫn là một trong những ngành tăng trưởng nhanh nhất của khối ASEAN, nơi GE đã hiện diện được hơn 100 năm. Chương trình hợp tác của GE Healthcare với các cơ sở y tế tư nhân, các trung tâm học thuật và nghiên cứu, các cơ quan của Bộ Y tế và Bộ Giáo dục trên khắp khu vực là một phần quan trọng Loạt sản phẩm chăm sóc trẻ sơ sinh này sẽ giúp tăng cơ hội tiếp cận các thiết bị cứu sinh, đặc biệt ở các tuyến y tế cơ sở hoặc ở những nơi mà các phương tiện chăm sóc y tế còn nhiều hạn chế. Training is a big part of that MOU with the Ministry of Health. Mm -hmm. uh, Besides us, you continue to work on advanced products. Uh, we have the V-Scan before, mm -hmm. now you just launched the maternal and infant care products. Mm -hmm. Very impressive products mm -hmm. and advanced technology for mm -hmm. the Vietnam's market. In terms of um, working on research and development for the new products, how do you make sure that that product is going to meet the market's need in the emerging markets? Well, when we look into launching products, uh, for example, we need to understand what is the basic need. Uh, give an example of Vietnam, why we pick the maternal infant care launch, which basically introducing a very uh, simple device like uh, infant baby one, but it, in an advanced setting for primary care, but easy to use because this device will be available in the rural sector. And also the other product that we do is for the resuscitation. Uh, why we, we pick this too? If you look into statistics, today in Vietnam, about 12,000 babies mm -hmm. die every year. And that means about 30 babies die every day, mm -hmm. uh, simply because of the hypothermia uh, which is basically a uh, uh, baby is uh, having uh, a body core temperature below 35 uh, degree. And the other one, that's why we introduced the infant baby warmer uh, to help uh, overcome the challenge. The other problem that is big is the blockage in, uh, in, in the lung. Mm. Uh, air blockage, right, that, which is called the as asphyxia. Uh, because of that, baby died. And the resuscitation uh, product that we introduce is to overcome the challenge. So if you look into primary care setting, basic fundamental issue, you know, introducing technology like this in, in, in an easy to use setting mm. uh, will be able to be delivered in the rural sector to provide access will improve the uh, uh, rate of, of uh, recovery hmm. and prevent death. Well, those products are definitely very advanced mm -hmm. uh, in terms of technology. But how do you balance between like the engineer quality and the cost of production? Well, it's, it's, it's always a good question, right? So from, from GE, uh, when we talk about health imagination again, which mm. earlier we discussed a little bit. The concept of, uh, 
of bringing costs down, we measure them. Mm. We measure them from all aspects. Uh, in fact, we uh, bring in a third party which is called Oxford Analytica that has uh, more than 1,000 PhDs that work and every product that will uh, participate into the health imagination product has to pass all the all mm. the toll gates or the checks mm -hmm. and and balancing the whole cost is not just from an equipment standpoint uh, not from a manufacturing standpoint but from a total delivery cost mm. uh, maintenance uh, the collaboration with others the setup mm. uh, the 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 whole healthcare cost is considered because People easily think of cost as just being lowering down the manufacturing, which we will always do, mm -hmm. but the whole setup is more important also. That's why coming back to education and training yeah. is very critical because the workflow will come together also. Yeah. So how do you educate the market for those new advanced product? We just have to uh, work with all the institution, but so far we've, we've been very happy because Vietnam has been very receptive, mm. right? Because it's, it's, it takes all the integrated team to work together, the hospitals, the doctors, the institutions. And uh, we've, been, we've been very pleased because uh, the ownership is on all sides. Mm. So far has been very good. Well, thank you. Um, I'll get back to you as for your opinions on the healthcare in ASEAN in general. Sure. Thank you. Let's take a quick break. Thank you. À, thưa quý vị, vừa rồi là những chia sẻ của ông David Utama là chủ tịch và là giám đốc điều hành của GE Healthcare khu vực Đông Nam Á. Quý vị có thể xem lại chương trình trên website fbnc.vn hoặc là cập nhật các chương trình đã phát sóng trên facebook.com suyệt tôi về Việt Nam. Xin được chuyển kênh, chúng tôi sẽ còn quay trở lại sau ít phút nữa.